this is Dr. Hourglass and welcome to another video in our channel Stars Bodies. Today we're going to discuss infection after the tummy tuck. In this channel we discuss everything you need to know to get that star body that you want. Welcome back. The tummy tuck intervention can help you get rid of the excess skin and fat tissue from the inferior level of the abdomen. It can be performed with or without the repositioning of the belly button. It is a complex intervention and a good communication with your plastic surgeon is mandatory before and after the procedure. Tummy tuck requires an incision that can go from hip to hip in the suprapubic area. Aside from the incision, we can also have another perimbilical one if the reposition of the navel is required. During the intervention, the skin and adipose tissue are lifted from the abdominal wall if the muscles are weak and they will be stra straightened and sutured before the skin is redrayed and the excess skin is eliminated. As you can notice, we're talking here about extensive surgery and long incision. All surgical procedures present a certain risk and it's important that you understand the risk associated with various abdominoplasty techniques that can be performed to improve your appearance. For each person, the choice of performing a surgical procedure depends on the comparison between the risk and potential benefits. One of the most common complications that can occur after this type of intervention is the infection. Infection is an invasion of microorganisms that can be localized or generalized in a living being. Through multiplication, these microorganisms affect the body. A generalized infection can manifest through high fever and a degradation of the general health condition. A local infection will usually present the following symptoms. High fever, an inflammation of the area infected with pain, redness and edema, and the formation of an abscess filled with pus. Infection after the tummy tuck surgery occurs only in rare cases, usually if the patient didn't maintain proper hygiene of the surgical incision after being discharged or is not taking antibiotics. The risk of infection is greater when the body contour surgeries are performed in parallel with procedure in the abdominal cavity. To prevent infection, we give antibiotics during the, during the surgery and for at least a week after it was performed. If you experience any signs of infection from the one mentioned above, make sure to seek medical help immediately. Infection can be treated with antibiotic and in exceptional cases, additional surgeries might be needed. In this video, we discuss infection after a tummy tuck. In the next video, we will discuss three common myths about liposuction. Remember to comment below, share this video, like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more information here at the Star Body channel only on YouTube. Also, you can log on to our website, drhourglass.com, for more information about your procedures and to see amazing surgical results. Remember to log on to our Hourglass TV for more information about your surgical procedures. On Monday, we have Booty Man for everything related to buttock enhancement procedures. Tuesdays, Wonder Breast, where we discuss topics related to cosmetic breast surgery. Wednesdays, we have Star Bodies. If you want to have a star body, log on to our Hourglass TV. Thursdays, Hourglass operating room, where you're gonna see me doing light surgeries with before and after pictures. Also, shoddy, where we discuss cases that require cosmetic surgical revision. And Friday, super hourglass, for topics related to have that hourglass figure that you want. And finally, live broadcast surgeries every day of the week on Facebook Live, Periscope, and Snapchat. All this and more in the Hourglass TV.